Okay, everyone, we've just gone through um, the business background behind this tasking and the file. So we're going to walk through exactly how to download it and how to uh, uh, load it into Excel. So first of all, in the course, go to the file section in Canvas and then pick the one that says phone example munging text. Click on it and you can see what this file looks like. It looks a little weird. We're going to download it and then the download should show up in your download folder. If you click over here, it will open your download folder. And in there you can see this phone record example munging text document. We're going to just take a look at it. So I right clicked and we're going to open with notepad. And what you see when you open the notepad is this. You can see each of the columns. You can see this separation between a column and the data associated with the next column. And it looks kind of weird and messy, right? So we're going to now open that in Excel. So the next thing we're going to do is open Excel. We're going to open a blank workbook and we'll expand it so everybody can see. Then we'll do file open and then we're going to go and browse to the download section. And it says no files, right? But that's because it says all Excel files. If you click that down arrow, then you can see the text files. And there's the file we're looking for right there. Phone rec example munging text document, not the common separated value. And we're going to click open. And it's going to open this window that's going to show us exactly what's in that file. And so this is a delimited file and it has tabs in it. So this is the correct selection. It does have headers. That means column headers or, or names. So you're going to click here and say my data has headers. Click next. And then tab is the correct one. If we were doing comma separated or semicolon or space separated, you could click one of those and it would allow you to, to select that kind of file. Then if you click the next button, it's going to take you to this last step. You can define what each of these different columns is. For instance, you could call this column a date column. We're not going to do that right now, but uh, I just want to show you that you could. Then we're going to click finish. Voila, you have the data. So I'm going to do one more thing before we close this video is I'm going to show you that if you want to figure out like this is a really weird number, right? This one. But when you look up here in this bar, you can see that it's a real number. So if you click right between the D and the E where it's got that little one, you double click it. It now expands to cover that whole area. And we're going to do the same thing for column E and for column G and for column H. And now you can see all of the data. And we'll talk in a minute about what that data shows. All right. That's it for this video, and then we'll have some follow-on videos to talk about how to manipulate this data.